I'm really excited to do the show. It's one of my favorites out of the entire fashion week. And I love the collection this season even more than last season because it's my second time doing it, so I'm very excited. The boys this time were really inspired by technology, um, collage. So again, you know, there is so much going on and so much colour that they just wanted the girls to look really cool and fresh. And we're doing moisturised face. We're using a brown uh, pencil in the crease and underneath lining. But then we're taking that off with embryo release just to give a really beautiful sheen and to give that very kind of worn in feel. The Parenta girl, you know, She's a very kind of cool girl. She's very confident in the way she looks. So in a way, she doesn't really think about her hair. It's a little bit more throwaway in a way. So yeah, just very dirty. Just a lot with my hands that they like, the little fuzzy bits. We're braiding some of the girls because they like the hair much thinner. A lot of the girls are wearing these black collars. Well, all of them are. And uh, I quite like the idea that the girls had slept with them on, like over their hair. But when they've taken it off, they've made like a little ridge in it. So there's a little feeling of life in her and maybe you feel like kind of where has she been or where she come from and I quite like that. So And they always reference like real girls and I think it's really nice because it gives it um, a touchable quality to their woman and I think that's really important. For us it was about collage and the idea of randomness and, and we're looking at a lot of images on Tumblr and the randomness of the internet and how things aren't related and how it's almost like a, a new form of collage. So we wanted a, a collection that sort of spoke to that in an, on an abstract sort of way. That they really pushed themselves and they've become uh, so associated with craft over the last couple of years uh, but this time they really they pushed it even more and maybe you could tell that there's been an influx of money and the, and the quality of the, the fabrics and certainly the the level of luxury was um, was you know pushed up several notches with the with the snake skins and all the other exotic skins and the patchworks at the beginning of the collection Well, I mean, the craftsmanship was amazing. The detail work, the, the thought process that went into the different layers, the construction, the grommets, the prints, the patchworks. I mean, layer upon layer upon layer, which created a very um, evocative and striking collection. I mean, there were a lot of new techniques we were working with. Pretty much the first half of the show was uh, bonded leathers, uh, whether it be bonded to Napa on the back or jerseys for the lighter kind of fabrics. But we liked the idea of uh, taking these, these leathers, which are kind of traditionally fall fabrics, and figure out a way to create lightness through them. So uh, they're bonded, they don't need facings, there's no linings in them. And then we've, we had them laser cut out, uh, creating perforation motifs. But then they're all hand crocheted together and uh, we did them in Madagascar. So a little bit of craft and a little bit of technology all within every single garment. I'm a huge fan of theirs. I love the way that they see women uh, I'm empowered to wear their clothes. My own style is feminine, but with an edge. I like, and I definitely see that with this collection and with their clothes in general. Yeah, we just wanted to juxtapose the hardness of the leathers with something really soft, so we wanted to kind of throw a little femininity in there with some lace and chiffon and, and that kind of thing. So it was a mix of both, hard and soft, you know?
really cool, strong vibe, and it's it's so much fun to do the shark. This is my first time in New York, my first Prince of Schuller show, and I was blown away by it. I thought it was incredibly gritty, incredibly daring, avant-garde, and um, it's usually stuff that we see in Paris, not so much in New York. So it's nice to see so much creativity coming out of New York, which is not usually the word you hear. It's more sportswear, much more wearable. This was much more um, challenging, but also intriguing, and I was really, really happy with the collection. We've seen other designers use photo prints. What made these different was the way they used them in repetition, so they were using them to create unique patterns of their own. Yeah, there's like public pools, some protest scenes, some, some fly cat, bee catchers and trees. I mean, those just, they didn't mean anything. They were, they were banal, and that's what we liked about them. And it was more a uh, kind of a ground to do stuff on top of. It was a compositional element, more than anything. You could definitely say that they're some of the hardest workers in New York. They, they're really focused on craft. And I, I do think that this season they sort of push themselves up to the next level. I love their sense of color, the lime green that they have, the bright oranges and reds. And I loved the uh, attention to detail that they have and the sense of play. It was a really exciting show. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the most color we've ever done. If you look at the whole run of show, from beginning to end, it's actually like a full rainbow. It follows the spectrum of a rainbow. Yellow, orange, red. And we've always really wanted to do like a far out, colorful kind of collection. So we thought this was the right one to kind of take it there.